Sorry, I was not paying attention. Previously on MasterChef, the home cooks faced their most intimidating. I was literally fucking watching chat. Dude, we're going ham on fucking MasterChef today. Fuck it. Dating critics yet. <laughs> Also known as our mothers. And the pressure proved too much. We don't have time. It looks ridiculous. Oh. In the pressure test. Eggs Benedict. One more home cook's master chef dream came to a bitter end. Giuseppe, your time is done inside the master chef kitchen. Tonight, Christian finds himself without any allies. I certainly hope I win today. I win everything else, so it's fine. Put your ego back in your head for a second. And the cooks may. I'm so thankful for this community. I've been here for a little over a year and it's really helped me through some tough times. Suspicious user ban evasion monitoring. Account created December 23rd, following since December 23rd. Lol politics today. I wouldn't mind that taste as long as I taste you. What the fuck? So many of you just write whatever comes to your mind. In that moment. And it's just like, yo, please don't ban. What's your original account? Gargantuan three chonk. What's the OG account that we banned? I'm asking so I, I'll unban you. I lost it. I'm gonna ban this one as well. But if you tell me what your original account is, I'll unban you. Give him the hammer? No, I'm not gonna hammer him. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, sorry. All right, whatever. Make some catastrophic errors. The worst sauce I've ever tasted in my entire life. If you're gonna serve us crap like that, and you're really wasting our time, it's awful. At the end of the night. That is really disappointing. You were on a great trajectory, and I don't know where that leaves you, quite frankly. One more home cook will be sent packing. I'm banned. Right, good morning. 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 Just nine of you left. One of you is Master Chef. Top nine. Wow. Out of thousands of people, I'm here for a reason. It feels awesome to be in the top nine. Just they have more people to knock out. It's time once again for another mystery box challenge. You'll each have to prepare, cook, and present one extraordinary dish using only the ingredients hidden under the boxes in front of you. We'll taste the top three dishes, and the cook with the best dish will get a critical advantage in the next challenge. It's time for a new challenge, and of course, it's gonna be a mystery box that I hate and that hates me. On the count of three, lift your boxes. One, 
Man. I'd like to see a piece of seafood underneath the mystery box. Two. I'd love to see a tuna steak in there. I am really hoping that there's like flour and sugar and dark chocolate. I can do dessert. Three. Oh, yes. oh, oh no. no. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what these shells are. It's obviously a shellfish. I open up the box and I'm staring down at these three huge scallops. Whoop, whoop. Scallops! You've got the most amazing hand dive scallops. Delicious arugula, bananas, fresh avocado, eggs, cauliflower, corn on the cob, shell peas, pancetta, croissant, and finally, Randy. Winning this mystery box challenge comes with a huge advantage. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. 60 minutes, starting from now. I won the last two mystery boxes, so it would be awesome to three-peat, but I take every challenge that it's back at square one. I love to cook scallops, but I've never shocked a scallop before. I do not know what I'm doing. I'm operating on instinct right now. Just wrong on so many levels. Should we unban Lil Krish? If you unban him, I will reban him. <laughs> Expect to literally get a mod walkout if you do that. But mods, think about it. If we ban, if you unban him, think about how much more fun it'll be to ban him again. Not to be a narc, but he's low key toxic. What do you mean? He is a clout farmer. So that's annoying. Instead of unbanning him, you should ban all the LSF frogs. I mean, he is the LSF frog. Name one bad thing Lil Krish did. Um, let me name like 12. Constantly trying to fucking farm drama. Constantly trying to get me to go on LSF and the times that I'm not supposed to. Or times when I'm doing something entirely different. Constantly fucking spamming links in the chat. After getting banned, harassing my entire moderation team like endlessly non-fucking-stop like literally just like DMing them spamming DMing them all the fucking time like endlessly 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 trying to uh capitalize off of me ending the stream early by setting up his own stream saying that uh he's got the answers as to why I ended my stream um stream sniping me in Halo uh constantly and consistently writing under every fucking Twitter uh post He has harassed, yeah, he has harassed the mods to no end. After I told him I would unban him if he stopped harassing the moderators. Yeah, I mean, this is him for sure. I don't... Nia, come on. Come on. Let's shoot him. 
you're aware of all that why do you think about unbanning him because he's actually like young and and kind of dumb and kind of funny And also, he's never been banned for, like, being racist or anything. He's just been banned for being annoying. You know what I mean? Like, he, he's never... I mean... The worst... The worst offense he's committed is annoy the moderation team. You know what I mean? Hassan to tell me they hashtag Hasley holidays. Please just unban it. Let me see chat for Christmas. <laughs> he does this a lot too. Ban forever. I guess follow my Twitch. He's like, he, he has made being banned from my stream into his like brand. He was begging moon moon for LSF the other day. <laughs> I'll think about it. You're a little faster, don't you? <laughs> Beautiful. These are the nine best amateur cooks in America. If they give us seared scallop with fruit salad on top, I'm going to throw it back in their faces. What would you be doing? What would you make? I would do a corn puree okay. and roast the scallops and do a little sort of light reduction from the fish. For me, those hand dyed scallops, you can eat them raw. Yeah. They're that good. Yeah, it's like candy. They're so sugary, too. Will the banana. You want me to unban Coco Puss, who's an anti vaxxer and a Kyle Rittenhouse defender? Got blood clots from the vaccines, adverse reactions to vaccines. Zero point zero three percent of chance of dying for my age group, bud. Why would I take it? Listen, just because I'm fucking. <laughs> okay, just because I'm in a good mood. Can you read my explanation, please, Brezhnev? Why don't you know it's the choice, not who they are, fucking dumbasses? Saying being transgender is a choice? Anytime someone throws a winky face in the chat, I always know. I always, oh god, this guy fucking throws so many winky faces. I'm like, nope, fuck that guy. You know what I'm saying? Will you unban my good friend Mussolini? No. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Be the curveball. Immediately, I am obsessed with this idea of pairing bananas and scallops. Never thought about it before, but can't get it out of my mind now. Oh! oh. I really think this can work. Oh! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 45 minutes to go. 
Right, Derek, talk to me. Who's leaving MasterChef? I'm gonna have to say it's Susie. I think she just overachieves and she doesn't stay focused. Right, what are you doing? Well, I sliced the scallops really thin. I'm gonna pound them out. What up, bitch? You almost got clapped last round. Like, I mean, I don't like Susie either, but if I was in your situation, I wouldn't be talking shit like this. And I'm gonna soak them in lemon juice for a couple of minutes. So it's, it's gonna line the plate, give it some acidity at the bottom, and then I'm gonna serve that with a bit of a guac. Have you ever pounded a scallop out before? <laughs> First time. I've never pounded a scallop. I've been cooking for 25 years. Right. Uh oh, it's the moment of truth. Searing scallops in the all steel MasterChef pans. Now, the secret is the thermalon, and that's what keeps it nice non stick. Remember, it's super important when you're searing scallops mm -hmm. to have them cooked evenly. So, seared on one side, seared on the other. It should be the same. Probably gonna do a little roasted corn, a little bit of onion. Uh, I'm gonna put that underneath the scallop. I'm gonna make a little sweet pea puree. I certainly hope I win today. Uh, I haven't won a box challenge in a little while, but I win everything else, so it's fine. Why do they always I'll make him do it? To that. Christian has some talent, but I'm, you know, just shut up. <laughs> right, Christine, what are you cooking? Um, I'm thinking, um, 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 have a little, um... Uh-oh. After working two back-to-back -back overnight shifts at the ER hospital for animals, I come home to a nice Xmas present. Fuck yeah, baby. Let's go. Looking good, man. Maybe grilled corn and beans scattered around with a little fish stock. Right. Great. All right, guys, less than 30 minutes to go. So, Ben Starr, why would you start for the first time ever trying to roast a banana and put it with roasted scallops? I think he's out of his mind. Christian's wrapping the scallops with a pancetta. So to get a perfect sear on that is very tricky. I'd rather you sear them first. So just kiss it on either side, yeah. sear it, and then wrap it in the pancetta and roast it all around. Yeah. Tricky. It's very tricky. minutes to go. Right, how are you cooking the scallops? I got a ceviche, then I'm gonna do a bacon and, and egg scallop, and then I'm gonna do a very simple puree of the cauliflower and arugula. So you're gonna see three different things, separate, concise, and a little bit of restraint as well okay. to make it pop out. Good luck. See, this guy like pops off. Two minutes to go. It's like look really nice. These are perfectly fresh, delicate scallops. If you overcook them, I must admit, a little stressed. 60 seconds to go. One of you is going to gain a major advantage in the next stage of this competition. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and stop. I know how to cook the same fucking Six, thing. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Woo! Well done. As in all mystery box challenges, the judges will select just three dishes to taste. The winner will be given a huge advantage in the next round. Time's up. I'm looking at my dish and I'm thinking. It looks pretty to me. I, I would order this off of a menu. I think my plate is gorgeous. My shells are absolutely beautiful. It's Andy Value's game. It's even my game. OK, so we've been watching, observing your techniques. The food looks amazing. Mm -hmm. We've chosen the top three. The first dish that we want to try was really capturing the essence of this challenge. It was a restaurant-quality dish presented in the shell and that dish belongs to Christian. Naturally, Christian is going to do well. You know, if, if it's got a shell, came from the water, it, 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 Christian is going to excel. Oh, he's being racist towards people from New England, dude. He's being, he's being racist towards New Englanders. New, new, from the Pacific Northwest. Fucked up. Or not Northwest, what the fuck am I saying? Oh my God. From, from 
Holy shit, I'm so California. I've literally, I, I've, everything in my life is just now geared towards California. I can't believe I said Pacific Northwest. That's kind of cool though. My identity as a New Jerseyan has like completely been erased. LA changed me. Oh, thank God. You okay? No, I'm not okay. All right, let's keep going. I made a uh, scallop succotash with a lime honey vinaigrette and a little crispy pancetta. So seared on both sides perfectly. Atlantic Northeast is what I was thinking, yes. I feel like the crunch really balances against the richness and sweetness that's inherent in the scallop but I think a little bit of salt, a little bit of acid would have really made that dish come together a little more. What's in the puree? A dash of sugar, a little bit of lime, and I thinned it out with a little bit of olive oil. Great sear on the scallop. You know, really good color with the puree, and you know, an overall nice dish. Finesse, but it's got it's got heart and soul. Are you back in this competition? I'm a force to be reckoned with. I'm gonna take this all the way to the end. Good job. Thank you, Chef. The next dish we want to try is a triumphant plating. A diversity. They make so many fucking seafood dishes, and I just like kind of check out a little bit because like I have no interest. I've never eaten it. It doesn't seem delicious to me at all. You know what I mean? I wish they did more land shit, you know of techniques this dish even though i do understand like seafood is just it, it, it's great variety it's like where you can show your fucking technical skill in a really and it's a huge food group especially when it comes to gourmet shit so i get it still bums me out a little bit though belongs to adrian come on up Adrian's dish looked really, really sexy. He, uh, he did scallops three ways, but I don't really understand the egg on the scallop thing. That's not something that's not something we usually do back home. Scallop ceviche with the lime, roasted corn, papaya, uh -oh. avocado, then the egg, pancetta, and scallop. And then finally, uh, uh -oh. cauliflower puree with arugula, blanched peas, a little bit of olive oil, and salt and pepper. Seasoning is great. Cilantro, punchy, green. Wow, there's a lot going on on this plate. Really fabulous. Good job, congratulations. The egg yolk gives it that sort of... Fuck, you know, I gotta pee again, God damn it. And it's sort of sweet on rich with the crispiness of the bacon. It's good, but it's not brilliant. And you've produced brilliance in this competition. Wow, Adrian. So not only is it three different little preparations, it feels like you just took me on like a world tour. We went from South America to the States and then over to Europe. Good job, appreciate it. The third and final dish that we are dying to taste. The idea behind this dish is so out there. It's so bizarre, we just can't resist it. Ben Starr, let's go. <laughs> it's not a trick. <laughs> Right? It's not a trick. <laughs> wow. Bananas and scallops. Talk to me with the salsa. What's going on there? We've got roasted corn, avocado, and papaya, lightly dressed with lime juice, a bit of cilantro, salt, and pepper. Visual impact. Yeah, it looks amazing. The hidden secret is this sauteed banana underneath. It's got that nice, crisp caramelization, but it's still slightly pink in the center, which is really good. It's not perfect. However, you took a huge risk, and it worked, because it is delicious. I mean, really delicious. Thank you so much, Chef. Amazing cookery. It works beautifully. Good job. Thank you so much, Chef. It's OK. It's not terrible. 
But I think I would have to commend you for uh, a risk probably pretty well taken. Thank you. Ben's kind of a king. Like, he, he's, he's subtly kind of a fucking king. Not even subtle, actually. I mean, even Joe, who is like the permanent hater on the show, is like, yeah, I got to fucking hand it to you. Plus, you don't have any melanin. Am I right? Hey, how you doing? His hats annoy me. Obviously, I just, I find that to be really fucking, you know, unsettling. Homie's got a different hat every episode. It's like, what's that about? But he puts in the fucking work. Like he, he, he's got, he's always trying extra hard. He never goes halfway. He never fucking, he's like consistently good. He's gay. Leave his drip alone. I mean, Austin's gay and I literally bullied him into having a sense of fashion. So sometimes it works. Three stunning dishes. Was it the risky fried banana? Anything I can do to save myself from elimination is crucial. I really- Ben is definitely not gay. Are you serious? What do you mean he's definitely not gay? <laughs> what? I really want it. Or was it the complex scallop three ways? It's going to be between me and Adrian. Or was it a single attempt at one scallop cooked beautifully? If Christian wins another fish thing, I'm going to do He has a wife? No, he doesn't. What are you talking about? He has a husband, dude. What the fuck? He literally had a husband at the beginning of the show. He might be bi. Uh, the winner of the best dish belongs to... For one of you, you're about to meet a huge advantage in the next stage of the competition. The winner of this challenge, congratulations. Adrian. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it feels great because not only did I win, but I beat the fish guy. <laughs> Good for that. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did he? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. What did he say, dude? You, you, that could go anywhere with that one, you know? Sorry, I'm, I'm just saying. That's like regional dialect, but... He, he could have said... Oh. Adrian, are you ready to meet your advantage? Yes, chef. Let's go. Congratulations. He got real Boston with it. Uh, good job. As the winner of the mystery box challenge, Adrian is in control of the elimination test where at least one person will leave the competition. But the one thing he can't control is the theme of the challenge. As always, that is in the hands of the judges. Usually the winner of the mystery box challenge gets to choose between three things. Not this time. There's just one item you'll be cooking with today. Please say hello. <laughs> Oh. To Bob the pig. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. Bro, pigs are so big. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> Someone said Ace Erasure. Oh, God. Is a beast. <laughs> so, the theme of today's elimination challenge is pork. 
There's a whole new trend going on in the food world right now of nose to tail cooking. We've got the snout and the cheeks. You've got the loin running along the back. There's no better animal for that than the humble pig. All right, now we don't want Bob to see this next part. Kill him, Bob. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> wow. Okay, Prince. Adrian. That's kind of fucked. Yo, he's a pig, bro. Don't worry. He doesn't give a fuck. If he saw his homies uh, looking extra spry on that table, he'd probably be like, yeah, let me get a taste of that, brother. Slices? Yeah. Good. Okay. Voila. Vegans mauled for pigs, but like as smart as pigs are, they probably that pig would have probably eaten that other pig. You know what I mean? If you fucking gave that pig the shit on that table, that pig would be like, oh, eating's good today. Or they eat human beings, dude. They eat each other, they eat everything. Adrian, here are nine very different cuts of pork. We have thick cut applewood smoked bacon, center cut pork loin. We have double cut pork chops, baby back ribs, St. Louis style ribs, pork butt, pork belly, cheeks, ground pork. Woo! And you have one incredible advantage. You will dictate who cooks with what part of the pig. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> so if I was in your shoes, I would be nominating the most difficult cuts to get rid of your competition. Which of all these cuts do you think is the most difficult to perfect? I'd say the uh, pork belly or the pork cheeks. You're absolutely right. So here are the name tags. Think very carefully. My advantage is uh, pick my cut and then piss everyone else off. <laughs> okay, the first cut. Where Bro, some of these advantages are not like the others, okay? Sometimes they literally give you like, on some of the episodes when you, when you do the pre-trial, you literally are like, yeah, you advance to the next stage if you want to. And then in others, okay, in others, it'll be like, yeah, you get nothing. Like, we give you the first choice of what to choose. And then this is like a crazy one. You know what I mean? You can like fucking make sure that Christian is doing pork butt or like pork testicles or whatever while you're doing bacon. You know what I mean? This is a gigantic advantage. Where are you going? Chop. Wow. For myself, I'm picking the double cut bone in uh, pork chop. Who's next? I got to look at my biggest competitors and... He should have gone barbecue, honestly. Like, that's the, that's the best one. But I guess he doesn't know. Do you eat ham? Fuck yeah, I eat ham, bro. You crazy? I got to give him something that's going to make it hard. I am hoping that I'm throwing all of my competitors off their game. So, last but not least, Christian. Tough guy. Wow. So I'm going to give him the cheeks. So, Woo! basically, you've just screwed Christian to the wall. I don't think anyone's going to like me after this. Right. It's time for another elimination test. For one of you, it's the end of the road. Are you ready to find out who Adrian met in the pantry and... The ingredients that could be your undoing. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Did you marry yes, a vegan? Yes, of course. It's a dumb question. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now, the pig's an amazing ingredient to work with. Every part is edible. Adrian has hand-picked eight different cuts for each of you. Wow. Shut up. You'll find your individual cuts of meat waiting for you in the pantry when you get back to shop. You've all got 60 minutes to present us with a stunning pork dish. A vegan would never marry you? There's probably like a thousand vegans in this chat that would marry me right now. What the fuck do you mean? A vegan would never marry you. Dumbass. <laughs> that will literally make us squeal with the <laughs> And your time starts. Now, off you go. Oh. No shot, there are a thousand vegans in here. Dude, there are twenty there are twenty-eight thousand people in this chat. There are way more than a thousand vegans in here. There's just a thousand that would at least uh marry me. 
my name sticking on a pork loin, and I was like, yes, I'm getting the cot that I wish for. Oh, he hates me. I got pork belly, holy Adrian thinks I'm one of his greatest competitions, and that's why he gave me uh, one of the hardest things to cook. Oh, God. First thing I see is pork butt. Pork butt? What am I gonna do with pork butt? What do I do with that? <laughs> cook it. Adrian picks pork cheeks for me. Probably thinks it's gonna make me fail. What a Wow. There aren't even a thousand females in here, fella. You're very Susie incorrect. Christian, myself or Christina would probably have the greatest chances of going home based on the cuts of meat we have. I'm not happy that I have to cook pork belly in one hour. Not at all. I have ground pork. Adrian and I are going to have to have a little conversation later. <laughs> Adrian's a right now, but it's going to take more than a pork cheek to get me out of here. Feeling loved and hated at the same time. <laughs> The whole challenge is very Machiavellian in the way, you know, yep. because he's not only really trying to exalt his own talents, he's trying to isolate some of his enemies. Who do you think, based on what Adrian's dictating, the cut they're gonna be using, is gonna be in the bottom three? Pork cheek, uh, pork butt, St. Louis ribs. Ribs, yeah. yeah. To get them sliding off the bone, they really have to be cooked for minimum two, yeah, two and a half hours. The, the one hour time limitation certainly is the uh, trickiest part of this thing. Yeah. What's the easiest cut? I think the loin. The loin, yeah. I got the pork butt and I realized, you know, it's a really tough cut of meat. The only thing that I can do within an hour is make chili, and I love chili. The bone in double cut pork chop is not as easy as everyone says. You gotta cook it right. You can either serve it rare, which will get me sent home, or I can serve it way overcooked, which will get me sent home. I am going to do my best with the short ribs. My plan is to do a dry rub with a bunch of spices and do a little barbecue. Derek, there were yes. two ribs. You yeah. got the few ribs. What do you make of that? Do you think you're gonna, you're gonna be able to cook it in time? I hope so. Get Derek out of here, bro, come on. Is it barbecued ribs? It's gonna be braised. In an hour? But, but listen, what, so what do I do? Do I play it safe? And do I say, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that? At least but I know. The thing. At least if I go home today, I know I now, what And I know stuff? I put my heart on the line. Hope it works out for you. 45 minutes left. Drags right, it. <laughs> yes. What's going on? Pork and sauerkraut. Pork and sauerkraut. I'm going to fry them off, but I'm going to flavor them with a lot of mustards. That's bold. Mm -hmm. This competition's getting rife. Absolutely. I mean, it really is getting tough. Which cut's going home tonight? The cheeks, sir. All right, Christian, word is you're going down. <laughs> Tell us the dish. What are you making? Some raised cheeks. Put that over a little uh, white bean puree with an apple fennel slaw. 30 minutes left. Cooking pork cheek is difficult. It needs help. It needs a spice. Here's That's the thing with pork cheeks. If you have to put a knife and fork to it, game over. Right, Susie, what are you doing with the pork belly? So I'm making spatzel using um, the pork fat, and then I'm doing a braised cabbage, and I'm going to have pork in there as well. Why a German theme? Uh, German food really celebrates pork. When was the last time you were in Germany? I was never in Germany, chef. I've never been. Alejandro. Yeah, bro, you have to go to Germany to make German food. Like, come on. I have a pork loin that I'm going to sear and uh, serve with a sweet wine and apricot sauce. Do you think he was giving you an easy cut because he's not that afraid of you, or...? Uh, I'm not sure why he gave it to me. I'm really glad he did. That's the cut that I wish for. So take that apparently yeah. easy pork loin and impress us with we'll it. Will do. Last five minutes. Please taste everything. Joe really is like a bad person. He, he's just not a good person, bro. Now it's time to open my pressure cooker. Open it, smells incredible. I take a big spoonful of it, put it in my mouth, and the beans are crunchy. Uh oh. No, my Ben! My only option is to pull the beans out of the chili one by one. Taste everything. No excuse at this stage in the game. There's just no possible way that I can pick all these beans out in time. Come on, finishing touches. I'm totally screwed. One minute to go. One minute to go. The final nine home cooks are facing another elimination challenge, after which at least one more will leave the MasterChef kitchen. I am screwed. The beans are crunchy. 
My only option is to pull the beans out of the chili one by one. 30 seconds to go. So here I go, frantically, surgically removing these beans from my chili. And I bro, how the fuck are you going to make chili without beans, bro? Is beanless chili? What the fuck is that going to be then? Not chili. Some other shit, I guess. I glance up and all three judges are watching me. What's Bender? And that does not make it any easier to make sure every single bean is out of this bowl of chili. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done. Everybody happy with your dish? I look down and there's still like seven beans floating around in my chili. And I'm thinking, oh God, please let those be the tender ones. I definitely know that I don't have the top dish, but I'm really hoping Christine's dish is worse than mine because I definitely think she's just been getting by at this point. At the end of this, one of you will be leaving MasterChef. From the very back, Derek, bring me some pork magic. Let's go. Talk to me. I have braised St. Louis style ribs served over a sauteed bed of winter greens and a roasted tomato tartare. Not great. That cut was not great. Cooking under pressure within 60 minutes. You nailed it. Wow. Delicious. It's tender, succulent. It's got a great. Shit did not fall off the bone, bro. Sorry. I'm afraid I'm going to have to say something here. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go against Gordo. No, you can say roll by Gordo all you want, but that them shits are supposed to come off the bone, bro. Sorry. Sorry. Gordo's protecting Derek. I'm an armchair expert in eating, yes. Sear on there, but it's sort of, it melts in your mouth. Really good job. Thank you. Amazing. It's still got its natural flavor, its natural juices, so it's not dry. In this case, I think that what you thought was your nemesis turned out to be your greatest friend. Amazing. Thank you. Thank well done. You. Seeing that meat just fall apart like that, that's definitely a success. It was just, it was Why cool do you hate the white guy so much? Is, I'm racist towards white people, bro. You know this already. Christine did a very simple dish. I'm thinking she's probably going to be eliminated. All right, so baby back ribs. I did a dry rub with the ribs. Chili powder, smoked paprika, what the cayenne. Fuck? I have potatoes, and then I have Brussels sprouts with leeks. Bro, that straight looks like... Like, that was one of the easier ones, dude. And that straight looks doo-doo. It's wonderful. <laughs> it works perfectly with the meat. The flavor, and there's some spice. Oh, my God. Look at Susie's fucking face, dude. She's disgusted. It's wonderful. <laughs> it works perfectly with the meat. The flavor. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, this is crazy. You just can't hold it in anymore. She just... Yo, you guys think I'm anti-white racist? I think Susie is the most anti-white racist, bro. She just looks straight hateful. There's some spice. There's a little bit of heat. The integrity to the vegetables. Great job. Thank you. What you just put together on that plate... I just put pork back on the map. Consider yourself a front runner because it's absolutely delicious. Oh my Thank God. You. I want to see I'm Christine getting, cook pork. I'm getting so fucking rolled. Holy shit. Every time I say like a, a meat looks bad in presentation, they're like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm giving you a job at my kitchen tomorrow. <laughs> you're leaving your apron behind because you're hired. <laughs> pork belly <laughs> and then i'll give her mad props okay susie let's go 
her dish looks like a baby What is that? It's just a, a glazed pork belly, a braised cabbage, and spetzel, as well as uh, a gravy. Mm. Mm. What? What's the spice in there? Um, I had cloves in there. Okay. One word for that. What the fuck? What did he say, bro? Yo, I can't believe he just said the N-word like that. <laughs> He's just straight saying it, dude. He's just being... He's just being so hateful, dude. <laughs> he said all the words. Yo, I swear. He might have even said... Quite possibly the worst sauce I've ever tasted in my entire life. It's bits of Tudor dog bits of crap stuck together with, you know, soft bits of spatula at the bottom. And this revolting in terms of the raw spice and the sort of horrible, bitter taste. Oh my God. Be careful. Look at how smiling he's. This show is called Master Chef, not Delusional Chef. Oh, he's smiling as he walks up, dude. Oh, dude, sorry, we gotta run that back. Look at his fucking face. He's like, I cannot wait to absolutely just, I'm locked and loaded. Now that Gordo went in. Be careful. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look how happy he is. Look how fucking happy he is to taste that dog shit. Look at his fucking face, dude. He's like, you motherfucker. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> this show. Look, that's crazy is called master chef not delusional chef what do you know about german sauces and german cuisine this is a freaking disaster i will not even be able to taste the dishes that i taste after this because of you it is awful and if it doesn't send you home it probably should go go back to school. oh my god Ugh. horrible if adrian's plan was to knock me out of the competition congratulations you just did it Okay, Jennifer, let's go. Right. Uh, yeah, what is that? It's a Pennsylvania Dutch uh, play. It's um, pork and sauerkraut. What the oh. hell were you thinking? It's what I grew up with, so... So if it's that what you grew up with, then this should be mind-blowing. You don't look like you've achieved much. All Bro, that literally looks like some shit Ethan would pull out on the, on the you know... Ritz Cracker sponsored spectacular show we did. You know what I mean? That straight literally looks like a TV dinner. That straight looks like the 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 white person food that uh that they served. This is like this is the white person food. This is absolutely what I think of when I think of like white people food. They get, you have, it's all to, to, meant to go together. Disgusting. Because that is a joke. Not impressed. And I think one of your weakest performances in this competition. You know that at least one of you is leaving MasterChef tonight. Understood. I just look at that. And it looks like a pig on my bowl. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna stop there. Sorry. That's a joke. Bro, like, how do they all get so fucked? 
I feel like they all got proper fucked on this. Like, how, how did this happen? They just got absolutely fucking brutalized, dude. Every single one of them. This is bananas, dude. Look at it. This is a great example of what garbage is. If you're gonna serve us crap like that, then you're really wasting our time. And you guys think about what we're here to do at this point in the competition. Jennifer, that is really disappointing. You were on a great trajectory, and I don't know where that leaves you, quite frankly. Bro, Adrian was just like, pop, 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 He went on. Dude, this is the white genocide episode, plus Susie. Straight up. Adrian just came in and fucking, like, diabolically figured out exactly what the worst, like, Mathematically, the worst dishes that these people would have fucking put together with the cuts. Absolutely bananas, dude. Straight fucking bananas. AOC is doing the one chip challenge live on IG right now. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? It says face the reaper. Um, how long can you last before getting owned? Eating or drinking anything. We have okay. to fucking interrupt our broadcast for this. Your challenger. Okay. Okay, so the challenge. Okay, first of all, I open this up and it says destroyed. That's not fun. Um, and then it says, how can you last before getting on? So the challenge is like how long you can eat this chip before having to grab for something. Okay. Not just like if you can eat this chip, period. Okay. So that's not what I was expecting. Uh-oh. I'm scared, but here it is. Someone said you have to prove your decision-making skills by bailing out. Okay, Dylan says get some milk and gloves. Oh my God, Hassan says don't do it. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Okay, I have, what is this, oat milk? I have oat milk. That's With not enough! I have some bubble water. I'm really scared, y'all. I don't know how bad this is. It's black. <laughs> this chip is actually black. Okay. Oh, no. I apologize in advance if when I eat this, I suddenly log off because... <laughs> This is gonna be really bad. Okay. Oh no. <gasps> Brazil is here I with you. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe it. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> this thing is literally. Oh my god. Oh no. This is bad. Hassan says you need Pepto. I need Pepto. Okay, this is too much. I can't. I can't do that. Oh my god, guys. I'm oh, no. so scared. You, gotta do it. You, you can't bail on it. I can't bail. You gotta do both at the same time. You gotta do the whole thing at the same time. Both both of these? <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh my god, y'all. Oh this no. Is this is really bad. And okay. I, I have to time you. Yeah, put up the timer. Okay. Deco, Why is Deco she doing this for free? She yeah. needed to do this for fundraising, dude. Alright. Hot chip challenge. I'm she should have done this for really fundraising. Scared. This would have been awesome. Um, five, less than five minutes. Five minutes already sounds like an eternity. Five minutes? It says five minutes powerless, 10 minutes powerful, 30 minutes supercharged, and one hour invincible. First of all, I'm going to drink something within an hour because I'm thirsty. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Period. That's not the goal so, it's raising 45k oh viewers okay, it ain't ready? free no it doesn't matter <laughs> oh god i'm so scared chat chat how many seconds i'm so scared i'm ready? saying 10 or Ooh! 20 20 max all right 20 oh, max okay, before everyone, it kicks I mean, in say a prayer for me 20 max Put before it kicks in on me because no Medicine shot anybody <laughs> You say she's latina two minutes you're crazy three, i'm three, turkish okay. i eat spicy One, food like two, a motherfucker okay three. <clears throat> Jesus. 
She might cry. I'm so scared. 15 seconds. You didn't even swallow yet. Kicking in at 20. He just starting to come through. Oh my god, yo! I told you, he kicks it at 20! Yeah. 30 seconds. Ah! You got this, you got this. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Lion's breath. <laughs> okay, she she exceeded my expectation. My ears feel hot. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, one minute. One minute. Pepto Pepe Pepela? Okay, dude. Fine. First of all. You got this. 130. Okay, bye y'all. What? I gotta say bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just stay on, stay on. That soda is not gonna do anything. Okay, 150, 150. This is so terrible. Why did she do this? Right, bye, y'all. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, no. That was... That was something else, dude. Why would she do that? <laughs> Oh shit. Oh my god. Imagine if like Lauren Bobert is like, I'm gonna try this to show how tough I am. Oh, that was great, dude. Impressive one minute fifty seconds. You said Merry Christmas? Isn't that offensive? Why would that be offensive, you fucking weirdo? That was still impressive. That was that was better. <sighs> be a Twitter drama baiter then, Keck? No, I am. I'm gonna literally tweet out. Every Republican in Congress has to outdo AOC's one chip challenge if they want to talk smack in the future. Two chips? No, she, it was one chip. She just broke it in half. The meme complex moves fast. Okay, we're not, I'm not looking at that right now. Chad, this is the long, this is the long con, okay? We get all the Congress persons to start doing the one chip challenge. And then we just need more congresspersons to get reelected. You know what I mean? Like, think about that. Just think. Here, pump this up. Pump this up, boys. Just the vision. I tell you guys to trust the vision, okay?
and you never do. This is like, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Madison Cawthorn. I'm just saying. We're not gonna lie, you sound like light and death note. Okay, dude. Listen. Listen. All I'm saying is now that AOC has done the one chip challenge and actually did the excellent one minute and 30 seconds far better my far above my expected outcomes all we need to do is try to get other congresspersons by goading them into doing such an incredible thing telling them that they too have to do the one chip challenge hitting them where it hurts the most their machismo it's only a matter of time until this gets on Fox News. Fox News covers it and says AOC belittled herself. Except if we use this opportunity and put momentum behind it, we could potentially get Lauren Boebert and also Marjorie Taylor Greene to swallow their pride and take the one chip challenge. Maybe even Madison Cawthorn. Thereby eliminating three congresspersons in one quick and decisive sweep I'm just saying just like the one quick ad break that comes at 7 p.m. that's right this entire time I was actually trying to get you readily prepared for the one minute ad break at the top of the hour every hour Some of you thought that this was a simple distraction from what we were doing, the MasterChef watching. But instead, it was actually time for the 60 second ad break, and I wanted to lighten the burden for you. Now, of course, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is maybe get a subscription from someone like Cozy Punk, who just gifted five. But sometimes you're not lucky enough. Maybe you've been watching for seven hours and 36 minutes, and over the hundreds of gifted subs that have come through you haven't gotten one well then you have to make your own luck by subscribing on your own for five dollars but if you don't have five dollars because you don't have any christmas money then you can just steal someone else's amazon prime and connect it to your twitch account to get one free prime subscription a month thank you mo the don thereby Avoiding the ad break at the top of the hour every hour. Here's the one minute ad break now. Half of your content now is segues, and I can't tell if I respect it or hate it. What do you mean half of my content? You do a 60 second call out and then a 60 second ad. DC Baller, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Insane Alec. Jolene Cujo. Felony Beard. Prime Online, Govia, Jax the Walrus, Mo the Dawn, thank you. How long did it take you to write this ad break advertisement? I don't know, but dude, this is so annoying. I get this fucking, <laughs> I get this warning on Instagram too all the time now. Here you go, pump this up. Dude, your streams after the ban have all been v the best. Very entertaining. I watch every second of them. Maybe you should you should get banned more often. Dude, it's because I'm going ham, dude. I forgot. Kevin Heckart, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs. Look, if you see these dogs, 
in your front yard, just know I'm upstairs going hard, you know? If you see these bands happening, who the fuck was that man in the stream on AOC stream? AOC's partner. I forget his name. He, he seems like a chill dude, though. The end. <laughs> She should have pumped it up more. She could have easily gotten like way more. Paul Zion strikes again. Who won the pork challenge? Yes, we are going to finish the uh, ep now. Someone keeps saying, is it bad that I hate when QPOC day white man? Yeah, it's bad that you feel that way. I'm a white man. I like to date QPOC as well. What the fuck? All right. Dude, this was a fire moment that I paused it on too. This is a great example of what garbage is. If you're gonna serve us crap like that, then you're really wasting our time. And you guys think about what we're here to do at this point in the competition. Jennifer, that is really disappointing. And I don't know where that leaves you, quite frankly. Okay, Ben Starr. I walk up to the judges. I've just seen them ream Susie and ream Jennifer. And I'm like, I've got to confess. I've got to tell them before they even take a bite what went wrong and why. Okay, sir, this is a roasted pork butt, green chili and red onion cornbread. Before you taste... Tell me. Instead of waiting patiently to add my apple cider vinegar at the end of the cooking process, like I always do, I added it beforehand. And the acid in the apple cider vinegar affected the beans' ability to cook entirely through, so I had to remove the beans at the last minute. And I'm just ready for them to say, You did what? Get out! The beans that I just had in here are, are actually quite good. The pork kind of really shows through. You've managed to render the fattiness from the cut. Right amount of chilies. Bro, they, they tactically made Graham more hungry by not letting him eat the first two, by the way. The rest of these guys are going to be gassed no matter what. Good job. Thank you, sir. You've been given one of the most difficult cuts yet you've turned into something delicious great job really good job thank you i'm completely and utterly shocked and i'm thinking okay well i've just skated by everything is fine next up the most difficult cut bring up the pork cheeks christian's always talking a big game so if christian's a badass then he should be able to cook these uh, pork cheeks I braised them in a pressure cooker with a Thank you, Jazzy Bomb, for the five get the sub. And it's uh, Gina for real and Kevin Heckart as well for the five get the sub. Uh, apple gastric. Yeah, I mean, Adrian has just done you a huge favor because you've nailed it. Thank you. And it is absolutely delicious. Thank you, Seattle Surf and Jazzy should, Bone. Should Thank you, Chef. Good job. Adrian, uh, your, your plan to eliminate Christian backfired. You nailed it, buddy. Good Thank job. You.
Congratulations. Adrian made a grave mistake. So uh, take that, Adrian. Let's face it, when I kicked his ass with my scalp dish, I didn't go over there and rub it in his face and be a about it. Dog, you literally tried to get him eliminated with the hardest fucking cut, okay? He's gonna take his fucking winnings here. Like, I like Adrian more than I like uh, Christian over here, but he deserves the fucking gloat. You targeted him and you fucking failed, you know? Raymabo! Thank you for the five gifted subs! This should be the best dish that we try. Come on, let's go. You're in charge. I think Adrian sold himself short picking a chop for himself. He's thinking it's probably going to be, be an easy one. Uh, the sweet potato mash, uh, paprika, and um, cinnamon. The sauce is uh, apricot apple beer with a little bit of clove and ginger. And then the uh, chop itself was just very simple of thyme and coriander. How's it feel to hear everybody coming up and having, uh, <laughs> having played a part in their fate? The feeling is kind of something I'm trying not to pay attention to. You cooked it a tad over. Oh, the flavors no. flavors are really nice. Still a little bit one-dimensional, I think. This feels like a heavy on heavy kind of dish. I understand. Oh, no. It's a safe choice. However, you know, it's not the best dish of the night. The chef. My strategy so Bro, Susie is like, just... He's not going to get eliminated no matter what because Outlaw Snark, thank you for the five, get the subs. And Rainbow, thank you for the five, get the subs. Uh, no matter what happens, like, uh, you know, there's two people that are just so much worse than him that... You're not playing today yet. You'll still own Le Communist. LeBron full-blown communist confirmed. <laughs> I feel like XQC fans, even while he's live, go all over the platform and be like copying XQC for content whenever they see every other fucking React Lord watching MasterChef. So far, I don't think it's been working. Which is really weird because, like, go watch him instead. And two, we all copy train wrecks once again. Know your fucking Twitch history. I know you're like 12 years old, but. Azan's Plumber, thank you for the five gifted. And Stinky19, thank you for the 10 gifted. Working because I could f everyone, but I could also f myself. Okay, Alejandro, next, please come up. So I marinated the loin with some cumin and cayenne pepper. Um, I made a uh, apricot and uh, marsala sauce. God and I made damn! Saute kale with uh, That's ballsy as fuck. Right, so you go. Uh oh. It's raw. Is this, this raw? I didn't realize. Oh no. How are we gonna taste this? We can't taste that. I just, I just feel like, oh no. What happened? You didn't, did you look at it before you put it on the plate? I, I guess I didn't see the other side, sir. Bro, do not call him sir. Okay, do not. He does not deserve to be called sir. Like you fucked up, but. He's still not a sir. It's raw. Yeah, I trusted the thermometer and I, I didn't trust look your at the- your eyes. You put it on the plate. Yeah, if you put it on the plate, it doesn't matter what the temperature is. I don't know, guys. See what we want to make of it. Uh, Graham's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I can't really find anything nice to, to say about this. You know, it's just completely, you know, unforgivable. Truthfully, you've had the easiest cut you must have seen it i i served this side sir and I... okay my name's gordon sir both sides are pink that is raw i just look at that and i look at what you've done in this competition and it's like we've gone back to your fifth grade we're down to the final nine not 90. 
And I think of the Muppets and the idiots we had to sit through for days on end, on a stool, eating from redneck sushi to this I don't expect this. I'm thinking like, man. I'm Fucking call back the redneck sushi. That guy caught, that guy caught a stray for no reason. Actually, all reason. Redneck sushi was nasty as fuck and he deserved it. Going home today. After tasting all our home cooks dishes, the judges must select the bottom three. That dude took a harder L than the Confederacy, bro. From those, at least one person will be going home. But first, they'll announce the top two dishes. The cooks of those entrees will become team captains in the next challenge. Okay, a very difficult challenge today. Two dishes stood out because you were faced with the most difficult cuts and yet you performed miracles. Congratulations. Christian, good job. Really good job. I'm the captain. Christian, put your ego back in your head for a second. The second team captain, which has almost caught us out by surprise. That person really delivered a dish that spoke of them from the heart. The second team captain will be Christine. Congratulations. Good job. Christine, finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks, you finally won something. I'm a firecracker. I've been sitting there in the back of the sidelines like a freaking cheerleader. I need to be a quarterback. One of you here will not be in that next challenge. There were three dishes that deserved, I mean, so deserved to be at the bottom. The first dish. Damn, first they said redneck, then they said cracker. This is. This episode is getting spicy, boys. I, I don't know if I can keep watching. What the fuck? Belongs to. At the end of the elimination challenge, Christian and Christine were named the winners. And now the worst dishes are about to be revealed. The first dish that just hit all the wrong notes and had what is arguably the worst thing that we've ever tasted in MasterChef history. Susie, please come forward. Thank you, Adrian. Sucks. The second awful dish belongs to Alejandra. I know I've made like one of the capital sins of kitchens and only a miracle is going to save me. The third cook today that gave us a dish that really missed on all marks. It was just um, really not in the spirit of what we're here to do today. Belong to Jennifer. Please come up. This is the bottom as far as my cooking and it's they're like salivating. <laughs> Joe's like, who do I hate more? Women or brown women? <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm a and again, cook. they all were dog shit. Than that. To be fair, they were dog shit. The food was dog shit. But that's not gonna stop Joe from enjoying this. You know what I mean? <laughs> like like they deserve to be up there, but Joe's also gonna enjoy it. So who goes? Susie, is it your German-inspired sauce with the belly of pork? Or is it Alejandra? You put something raw on a plate. Raw. Raw pork. Or is it Jennifer? A dish that wasn't even seasoned from the base. The frustrating part is that you can all cook bloody well. To have to taste food like that at this point in the competition, from you, Jennifer, from you, Alejandra, from you, Susie, is unacceptable and counterintuitive to everything that MasterChef represents for us in this room, for you as cooks, and for America. Seriously, Jennifer, are you ready to leave MasterChef? No, absolutely not. Dude, that absolutely was so not. bad. You can't go with Pennsylvania Dutch. Those people don't even have technology, man. That's Amish food. Like, you can't be trying... <laughs> It's like, 
is like serving them raw liver or some shit. Like, yeah, we're gonna do Liver King style food today. Jennifer, take your apron. Back to your bench. Oh my God. Okay, now we know. Now we know what's uh, motivating them. Okay, Alejandra and Susie, one of you's leaving, Master Chef. Susie. Step forward. Take your apron. Back to your bench. You just got lucky. Alejandra, I'm really sorry. Rule number one, you cannot serve raw pork anywhere. Please take your apron off and leave Master Chef. Dude, he, you gotta be a real freak to fucking do this many debates. I swear to God. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I, you. I have learned so much. I really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I am so proud to have made it this far. You know, I won't get to be Master Chef, but now I have a very big backpack full of knowledge that I've gained throughout this process. And I'm just gonna go out there and use that now. You can't eliminate Susie because, like, that's content. You know what I mean? That is straight up the content, and you can't cut the content. Like, her food might have been dog shit, but she's one of the better chefs on that on those teams. Okay, and overall, like, she has plot armor because she is like a horrible person. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not satisfied with the end result of my strategy. I would have preferred to get... No, the only content Alejandro provided was being racially berated by Joe, okay? So that's not like... Like, she didn't have any... She didn't have any, like, intricate, uh... Like, rivalries with anyone. She wasn't, like, fucking shitting on anyone. Like, Susie has a friendship cultivated with Ben. She always falls into Ben's arms. After every fucking win. And she despises Christian, who is a villain. Okay? I'm sorry. These, this needs to be said. I fucking call the balls and I call the strikes. Okay? I'm being very fucking honest right now. Brutally honest. Alejandro was too nice. Other people out first. Okay, listen. There's eight of you left. Who is America's Next Master Chef? Well, there's only gonna be one. Get some rest. You're gonna need it. Bro, should we watch one more? I feel like we've done so much. There's like, dude, fuck. I mean, we've just been going ham on the fucking Master Chef. Okay, one more, one more. Last one, though, for sure. 